Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name's Stephen and I'm from Stallion Property Group. Well, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a particular service that we provide for our clients, and that being client-side project management. Now, I just want to make a clarification between the difference of a builder's project manager and a client-side project manager. Well, it goes without saying, a builder's project manager looks after the builder's work themselves. They work for the building company, and that's what they do. A client-side project manager, however, we act on behalf of the client, overseeing the whole process of a project from start to finish, and that can be right from the beginning in terms of preparing the documentation necessary for a project, through to approvals, through to tendering, uh, preparing the, the tender package, and listing the uh, relevant head contractors for the project, assessing those tenders when they come in to make sure you're comparing apples for apples, and also superintendency, uh, which means that we oversee the head contractor from start to finish, including the defect liability period, to ensure that the works are procured in a way that um, makes sure it meets the objectives of the project, including time, program and quality, as well as workplace health and safety requirements as well. So we look after the project for you from start to finish, taking away that headache for you. So the particular type of work that I'm going to be talking to you about today has to do with uh, remediation works or rectification of defects. Now with a lot of buildings coming online because of the latest boom in Sydney, we seem to be finding three major issues happening in whether they be multi-residential mixed-use developments, uh, industrial, commercial or even retail. And these three major components seem to be consistent across the board. They include waterproofing issues, and that be waterproofing on rooftops, balconies, and indeed internal bathrooms and laundries. The second issue that we're finding is that of fire rating. Now we know that's a major issue that's been in the headline news of, um, of the past couple of months, if not year. And the third thing that we're finding is that of hot water pipes bursting. Yes, you heard it, hot water pipes bursting. This is because an inferior product came on the market that was cheaper and developers or builders used that product and the result has been the internal corrosion of these pipes which eventually lead to them splitting and flooding apartments etc. So one of the uh, things that we specialise in St at Stalling Property Group, especially with my 27 years of experience in the building industry, both on site and off site, is that of providing the consultancy services necessary to oversee the rectification of these defects. Now that can be as early on in the piece in assisting in providing expert reports um, to uh, gathering the right consultants around us and that may be fire uh, consultants, BCA consultants, electrical engineers, hydraulic engineers, structural engineers etc. We have a group of fantastic consultants that band around us to help us deliver these projects in an effective manner. So we are engaged either early on in the piece or not far off after getting the reports to put together the documentation necessary to put the works out to tender. Now, of course, we've been in this, um, in this industry for a very long time and over that time, we've uh, procured, procured a strong list of tenderers or head contractors that are specialists in remediation and defect, defect work in existing buildings. Now, why is that important? Well, that's important because a standard builder who's used to building new buildings doesn't know how to deal um, program-wise and stage-wise with a building that is tenanted um, with either owners or renters, etc. So it's very important that we get the right contractor on board. Now, as I mentioned, we put together a detailed tender document for that process and that allows us to assess those, those head contractor submissions and be able to compare apples for apples. And the third stage to it um, is that, of course, of the delivery of the remediation. Now, when it comes to the delivery, we, as a client-side project manager, take on the responsibility as the superintendent. So we look after, we oversee the head contractor on the behalf of the client, on behalf of the strata committee, taking all that headache away from you and making sure that those works are delivered according to program, uh, within, within the, the allocated budget, and also with regards to quality control and workplace and health and safety control, very important. So we take that scenario from um, off you to make sure that it's delivered and you can get on with your day-to-day -day life and making sure that um, the works are carried out correctly. 
Why is that important? Well, obviously it's important because most people have had to raise special levies in order to get these works completed. And the last thing they want is for the works to fail again. So it's very important that we appoint the right team around us to ensure that that doesn't happen. So if you're a strata manager or you're living in a strata complex, whether that be residential, commercial, industrial, retail, and, you're, and you don't have the expertise to deal with these sorts of things, and uh, in, our, in our experience, that's usually the case, nor do you have the time. So why waste your time? Engage us, Stallion Property Group. My name's Stephen. I'll be more than happy to get in contact with you. The details are, b are below. You can email us, and I'll be more than happy to meet with you, and we can have a one-to-one -one and see, see to make sure that we're the best fit for each other and also make sure that we can add value to your situation and come up with the right solution for you. So wait no further. Don't cause headaches for yourself. Give myself, Stephen, from Stallion Property uh, a call or email and I'll be happy to catch up with you. Thank you for listening and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.